Chapter 2, Lesson 2, Create and Call Procedures. We're going to use our Snow People program and we're going to do a stepwise refinement on it. Learning target. I can create and call procedures for Snow People animation. I can do a stepwise refinement on the code. Let's watch the Snow People animation which we did in Chapter 1, Lesson 5. We're going to use a four-step process in solving this problem. Understand the problem. The first step in doing a problem solving is understand the problem. Oh, we did this in Chapter 1, Lesson 5. So if you have not completed your Chapter 1, Lesson 5, this would be a good time to pause the video and complete that lesson and then come back to this video and start working on it. So I'll skip this part, understand the problem. We have done this before, so we know what the problem is. We know our objects. We know the actions that they are going to do. Step two, design. We already have created the animation for this, and we already have an algorithm for it. Step three, implement the design. When we talk about implementing the design, that means we are writing code. And in a previous chapter we finished writing code for this saw people animation now the problem in the code was the code is too long difficult to read difficult to think difficult to find and remove bugs so we're going to take our problem in here and create a solution for it now the solution is going to be a stepwise refinement as learned in a previous lesson the stepwise refinement is nothing but breaking a problem into large tasks and then breaking it into simpler tasks so the solution is going to be, in here, we're going to uh, break this problem into four main tasks, four larger tasks. We're going to break this problem into four larger tasks, get attention, get rejected, get disappointed, and end is an optional. So if you, in your story, if you have an end, then we'll have an end. Otherwise, the end procedure is optional. Now we're going to take each of our large tasks and break it down into simpler steps. So for get attention, we have a code in here. For get rejected, we have a code in here. For get disappointed, we have a code in here. And for the end, we have a code in here. We're going to do a stepwise refinement on our code and we're going to use our control structure do in order to do a stepwise refinement. So watch my video to see how to do a stepwise refinement on your code so watch my video lecture on how to do a stepwise refinement on a problem. I can learn to do a stepwise refinement on the problem. The problem that we're going to do is a snow people program that we already wrote the code for it. So when we take a look at the program snow people, I'm going to use one of my students program here and I'm going to do a stepwise refinement on my snow people. Now keep in mind this program is already done. That means it has code. Now as we know in a problem statement, this panda is trying to get the attention of this person and he is being ignored and he's disappointed and he goes away. So in a problem in here, we're going to take a look at this problem, the code that we wrote earlier, and we're going to divide it into three logical parts. Now, in order for us to divide this into logical paths, I'm going to use a control structure from here. And the control structure that I'm going to use is do in order. That means execute the statements in sequential order, one after the other. So I'm going to drag this and drop it at the top. Now, I'm going to take a look at this code and decide how many lines of code should I put into my first part where Felix is trying to get attention. So Felix is turning to face the panda. Felix is moving forward. He's saying a hum. So I'm going to drag this and put it inside do an order. Drag it, put it inside do an order. Drag it, put it inside do an order. Now this is my first logical part. And 
all my instructions for my logical part is in do in order. After Felix tries to get attention, he is rejected. So in order for us to show how he got rejected, there are some lines of code in that. So we're going to again go to our control structure area and we're going to drag and drop do in order. That's going to be a second uh, logical part in stepwise refinement. And then we're going to take a look at the code and uh, the panda is turning to face Felix and now and turn to face they are in do together. So you want to drag the do together and put it in here. So this would be a second part that is getting rejected. And the third one is Felix is disappointed. I'm going to go to the control structure area in the editor code and I'm going to drag and drop do in order for my third part. That's going to be Felix is getting disappointed. So the rest of the code is going to be a third logical part that shows that he is getting disappointed. So I'm going to drag and drop this do together, put it inside my do in order. And then Felix is turning right goes in here and the next do together is going to go in here. So now if you see we have a three logical do in orders for this program. We took our code and divided it into three logical parts. Now this is called stepwise refinement. And now part one here is where Felix is trying to get attention. Part two, where the panda is rejecting Felix. And part three, Felix is disappointed and he walks away. Now this is how we do a stepwise refinement on the code that we already created.